back to tell me Sorry that you take back All the things you said Just to hurt me I love just went cold But I'm still burning I love just went cold Why? I keep on making the same mistake Good morning everyone! It is... I don't even know what time it is. 7.30. Sophia's about to leave for school. Um, she's getting picked up by my dad. He takes her every morning. Um, Gage is at work. If you guys don't follow me on Instagram, he went back to work this week. This week was Sophia's birthday. So it's been a really busy week. Um, and I've been learning how to solo parent three kids while Gage works. Um, and it's been going pretty good, actually, I will say. Um, the mornings, I have Sophia and I have to get her off to school and of course I have Mila and Brio with me but the best part about that is that Brio is actually on a pretty good schedule already being that he's almost a month old. He turned four weeks yesterday and he'll be a month this weekend but he um, doesn't like to wake up fully in the morning until around 7.30 or 8 so I have time to get up with the girls at around 6, 6.30 get them ready for the day. I even got myself a little bit ready for the day and it all works out. So I'm making my coffee. Sophia has a fun field day today. So she is team red. That's what grade her, or what color her grade is. And um, yeah, they're doing teams and they like get to do like lots of fun stuff. Bounce house, water balloons, slip and slide, um, I think like foamy tug of war and stuff like that. So, <laughs> sounds like it's gonna be a fun day for her. She's about to head out probably in about 10 minutes. Um, both of the girls are just watching TV and having some breakfast. I'm trying out, or I've tried this once before, um, Trader Joe's non-dairy oat creamer, brown sugar flavor. It's actually pretty good. But I have been cutting out dairy because I think Little Man's is a little sensitive to dairy. Um, with Mila, I never had to cut anything out. She wasn't sensitive to anything when it came to breastfeeding. Sophia was very sensitive to eggs, I figured out. Um, and I only breastfed her for a couple of weeks. But I think he's a little sensitive to dairy. So I'm going to try cutting it out and see if he's a little less like gassy and fussy. Because I have noticed, um, I don't eat a lot of dairy to begin with, but if I have like cheese and one night I had ice cream, the next day he was super fussy and gassy. So I'm kind of just pinpointing it to that and it wouldn't hurt to cut out dairy anyways since I'm like almost 100% there. Um, and then I'm going to make myself a liquid IV and I think the liquid IV is actually really helping my milk supply. If you've followed me in the past, I've always suffered with like a lower supply. I don't want to say like low milk supply because it's possible to build it up, which I did um, with my second. But with my first, I wasn't very educated with that and didn't have much help. So I kind of just quit because I thought I wasn't producing enough. And with Mila, it took me a good six weeks to two months to fully build my supply um, for her. And it was very difficult and lots of cluster feeding and pumping and all that but so far I haven't had to do that with him um, my supply is pretty pretty good and he's just been a really good easy baby knock on wood because I don't want to like jinx myself here but he's super content he's on a really good schedule and I think honestly he just knows that having two crazy older sisters like he's giving mama a break because he's so good he feeds really well he sleeps really well he's still sleeping right now and he can sleep through their craziness and noise okay that's fine um but yeah i'm gonna make myself liquid iv get some water into me have my coffee eventually i'll have breakfast at some point in the morning but yeah sophia's gonna get off to have her fun day at school and then my nana is actually coming later on today she'll be at my parents house um which we'll probably go see her because sophia's birthday party is this sunday so she's coming in for that um and it's gonna be really fun so not a lot going on i do have a little bit to prepare for sophia's party which i'm not sure if i'm gonna do this evening or tomorrow but i figured i'll bring you guys along for a day in the life so i hope you guys enjoy i always let you back in when i begin to get myself together again you are back once more like everything's the same I tried to build my walls up But you 
Buddy. <laughs> you got the pillow for me? Thank you. Bring it in here for me. Give it to me. Thank you. Can you get my phone in mommy's room next to my lamp? Everything's the same. Try to build my walls up. I will hold up. We gotta burp him. Cut his back. <laughs> Thank you. See the baby in the mirror. Thank you, Mila. He loves this love every mat. Already at just a month old, and he's so interested. He'll stare at like all these toys. You see the toy? This little mirror here. You see the baby? We're gonna change you in one second. Mama's gonna make your bed. You gonna help me, Mila? I help you. Help me make the bed? Let's go get the pillows off. Have to get over you again. It is 10:30. I'm just finishing my coffee. Um, I got Brio down for a pretty solid nap. It took a few times, so um, that's why I'm just finishing this up. And I still haven't eaten breakfast yet, but I'm honestly not super hungry, so I don't know um, what I'm gonna eat. I don't really want anything like heavy. I was gonna have a protein smoothie, but I got like this sample package, and it was disgusting, so. Okay, and I've been playing with Mila for the past like 30 minutes. And now we're gonna go on a bear hunt, which is like her favorite game to play. So I'm gonna give you a little update on the living room. Um, if you guys remember, our <laughs> living room was completely backwards. Our couch was over here, TV stand was over here, but we switched it around and I like it so much better. And I just love switching around furniture because it feels refreshing, but I think it feels roomier this way. So um, I did freshen it up a little bit for like summer. I added some new pillows. I got both of these pillows for $10 each on clearance at Target like a steel. Sophia's got her balloons and stuff, but it's all the same decor. Um, I just switched around. This I did switch up a little bit. I added some family photos on the other side as well. Um, but this was from Target Dollar Spot, frame from Target, Target Dollar Spot. And then over here, I added another little frame with the photo from the girls meeting, Brio for the first time. And then I um, ordered some canvases as well and set that up over here but everything's the same just switch the decor around gonna have some of this um this trader joe cereal is actually one of my favorites it's really good and then i'm gonna use almond milk with it Pillow to me. This 
We do the Honest Company diaper subscription because we used Honest diapers and I have worked with Honest in the past but this is like not sponsored or anything um, but basically you get seven packages of diapers in like whatever size you need that month and then four packages of wipes but you can add whatever you want into the subscription but basically it's delivered to your door and you save money that way um, I pulled it up so I can show you but you get 20% off every shipment free shipping and you get 15% off added products so say I want to add um, more wipes which I usually do because I need more wipes or um, you get to pick like your diaper prints or say I need like some lotion or soap because we also use their lotion and soap um, so yeah and then you can change um, what size diaper you need as baby grows so right now we're in size one but next shipment we're definitely going to do size two and um, you can even do it for like older kids. I have gotten their um, training pampers for Mila as well, but I really like it and I like that it just comes to my door and I don't have to go shopping for diapers. And so far, um, we haven't even run out of diapers with our first shipment that we got. We still have one package of ones left. I will leave a link below um, for you guys. For you guys to check out the honest diaper subscription i think it's really cool honestly and this is just like my personal opinion on that but it's really good to save money and i of course want you guys to save money too the little man is finally getting a little squirmy in here he loves this kite baby wrap i'll also link this wrap below this is a ring sling but it's not from the original brand that everyone gets it from i think it's like owl something i'm not sure i got mine from kite baby and they're a little bit more inexpensive, but I had this one with Mila, and he loves it. I think he might even like it more than the Solly Baby, because he does love that one, and I bring that one everywhere that I go. Just depends on what kind of hold I want to put him into, but this one's more like an over-one-shoulder sling, and it's very secure and tight in there. Like, And you can also use this one for um, toddlers. The Solly Baby only goes up to three months, I think, um, before they get too big more of a newborn <laughs> you smiling or crying um but this one i can even use this one with me if i wanted to but she's very heavy <laughs> so yeah um i'll link this below but mila is laying on her bed getting ready either for some quiet time or a nap he is napping on me but i think he's gonna want to wake up soon we took a little walk to get the mail the post office um gage is heading back to work right now he actually just I didn't really have him around this morning to help me because he had to take a nap <laughs> because he woke up at like super early in the morning he leaves for work so he just rested a bit um and i had mila now he's heading back and then in a little while we'll go get sophia and stuff but I'm just hanging out with my two my two kiddos that i have home with me all day sophia's last week of school is actually next week so after that i will have all three kids home with me all day for the summer for the next three months so she's only got one more week of school before i am like full-on three kids mom mode and solo does anyone else with a newborn or baby or even a toddler 
just live with the white noise in the background 24 7 like i we just never turn it off <laughs> like it doesn't even phase us anymore um but brio loves the white noise machine and um it's just always on especially because it's in this weird corner of our bed like we have to like climb back there to turn it off we just leave it but i wanted to actually show you guys these shorts that i'm wearing because I got them at TJ Maxx a couple of weeks ago when I went shopping for some clothes for my postpartum body because uh, being fo four weeks postpartum, clearly nothing fits me still, like my old clothes. So I picked them up and they're like my favorite shorts right now. I had my sister get some yesterday. We went back to TJ Maxx and I picked up two more pairs. So I have four pairs total now and I love them. They're really flattering and they like suck in like hug my belly because it is still kind of loose and it's just nice to have something really secure and supportive on my belly because it's still not back to normal and my uterus still hasn't shrunken back so yeah I'm gonna show you I'm not even sure what the brand is I think it's like 90 degree but this is what they look like on I mean I still have a pooch with them but they definitely hold all of my like loose postpartum belly in and I like the um, length of them so they have longer ones that I think come to here like biker short style but I like the what are these maybe I don't know what length these are three inch um, four inch or something but they're really nice and I think they're pretty flattering but I think they're the 90 degree brand if I can find them online I will link them for you guys I have the black pair and then I got another black pair yesterday they come in like sets of two and then I have a nude pair um, that I actually wore yesterday <laughs> and then I picked up like a sage blue kind of color like a muted one um, yesterday as well but I think they're still in the car so yeah that's what they look like I really like them and I think they'll be nice for once I start working out and stuff too um, and they'll like fit with me for a while. We're on the way to get Sophia from school, but I'm actually gonna link this little gadget here below. I've mentioned it on Instagram and I have gotten so many people to buy it. Um, the whole mirror thing in the back seat was okay and helpful, but this camera system is so nice. I can see him in the back. So he fell asleep and we're gonna go get his sister. I'm gonna stop light right now, by the way. We are home, we picked up some food, it's in the car. Um, it's actually a little later. We went to see my Nana, she came in, and it's like a long drive for her and stuff, so we don't get to see her that often, but um, Gage is actually home too. I haven't vlogged a ton this afternoon. We're gonna have some dinner, and I'm gonna get this little guy ready for bed too. Mila is very tired, she had a fun day outside and they were playing in the water at my parents house and stuff so she I'm pretty sure she's gonna be out for the night um, and Sophia is having a sleepover with my parents tonight which she does every once in a while so since my Nana is staying there I thought it would be the perfect night but he needs a nice bath um, and I'm gonna show you guys kind of what we do for his nighttime routine I guess which is just I don't know we just do this every single night and he really enjoys it he loves bath time and he knows every night once we do bath swaddle it is time for bed so i just nurse him and then put him to sleep in his bassinet and he's usually out for a few hours but he also needs change right now um i just nursed him so we're gonna change him and then we're gonna eat ourselves and then we're gonna get him ready for his nighttime. yeah He's wide awake right now. He took a very long nap while we were outside and the girls were playing and stuff. Um, they did like water balloons and stuff and he just loved the fresh air so he was very sleepy. And now he's up for a little bit before bed which is perfect.
Halo swaddles always did it for my babies. They love them. I have them in like every size. Babies are asleep. Um, well, Brio is not asleep. He's with Cage right now, but he's about to go to sleep. I'm gonna take a shower and we're all gonna head to bed. I have to be up early tomorrow for Sophia's school walkathon. So I'm gonna like go pick her up in the morning and I dropped her off some clothes and stuff. So I hope you guys enjoyed this day in the life vlog. Um, I was kind of solo today for the most part. That was kind of like a solo day in the life of a mom of three, newborn, toddler, preschooler. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Let me know if you guys like these types of videos and my day in life vlogs by giving this video a thumbs up or letting me know in the comments, which is very helpful for you guys to give me ideas and let me know. And don't forget to subscribe if you guys are new and aren't already subscribed, but I will see you guys in my next video. Bye everyone. Bye.